Hi friends, we are going to draw a flow chart to find all divisor of a given number. If you take a 6, 1, 2 and 3 are the divisor because they divide the 6 completely by giving remainder as a 0. Like this, if any number is given, we have to find the divisors of the given number. So directly go to the flow chart. So logical start. Our flow chart. I append the number n. Input n. Next, I am setting the value of the variable d equal to 1. Set d equal to 1. Next, I am checking If, if I'm checking if value of n greater than d, value of n greater than d. If it is yes, if it is yes. Again, I am checking if if n modulo d equal to 0. I am checking again n modulo d equal to 0. If it is yes means yes means I am printing yes means I am printing the Printing D. Print value of D. Next. I am incrementing D by 1. I am incrementing D by 1. If it is no means, And uh, not printing D directly, incrementing D by 1. Again, I am connecting, connecting it back to the, the first condition, n rather than D. If yes means, again, it will check n modulo D equal to 0, then it will be again, this n modulo D equal to 0, it will print D, and D will get incremented by 1. If n modulo D not equal to 0, no means, only the value of d will get incremented, incremented until n greater than d, the loop will go again and again, it will print all the devices. If it is no means, that means n greater than d is false means, it's a logical stop of the algorithm. That's it, this is the flow chart. We will decide how it works. Okay. For example, I am taking a value of n equal to equal to 4. So initially I am setting d equal to 1. Okay. So n greater than 
D. That means 4 greater than 1, which is equal to true. Then I am checking 4 modulo 1 equal to 0. Yes, 4 modulo 1 it will give remainder 0. So my output, I will write the output here. Output 1 will get printed. Okay. So the next iteration now d is become d plus 1. So d is become 2 now. 2 now. I am checking n greater than d. So I am checking 4 greater than 2. It's correct. And 4 modulo 2 equal to 0. 4 modulo 2 which is equal to 0. This is also true. So I am printing d output. The value of 2 will get printed. Now d equal to d plus 1. d is become 3 now. d is become 3 now. So next what will happen? I am checking 4 greater than 3 which is true. Then 4 modulo 3. 4 modulo 3 equal to 0 which is false. Because 4 modulo 3 the remainder is 1. On this case, D will get increased by 1. So, D is become 4 now. Again, checking condition. 4 greater than 4 is false. It will come out and the flowchart will stop. So, output is 1 and 2. That means the division of 4 equal to 1 and 2. Is the division of the 4. That's it. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Press the bell button and comment. Thanks for watching this video.